I am coming back tomorrow from Bidia. Okay. It's all good, yeah? Will you be... Uh, with me. You will be the driver yes, tomorrow yes, as well? Yes, yes. Oh, good. That's good. When I get out in Bidia, will it be the same stop where I catch the bus uh, return? Oh, yes, I will show you. You'll when I'm there, yeah, okay. I will show you and I will tell you what the time. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. Shukran. So, looks like I am the only one here in this bus. And he said I should sit. Oh, we have chargers here. That's cool. That's very good. Because then I will be able to use my phone for the maps and everything else without worrying to save my battery power because I have two days now without electricity. which we are driving through already quite a while it is called Ibra and Ibra is probably the biggest center in this region kind of a big city small still but but there's nothing bigger around here and it looks like it is kind of oasis situation when they have more moisture, more water in this valley, so it's more green. As you saw around on the way to here, it was very deserty, but still they had all of these scattered trees, very drought resistant trees. But here, of course, there are many irrigated stuff growing as well. So, we are having 10 minutes break here in Ibra. Oh, it's quite hot outside. And the bus is air conditioned. Yeah, it's interesting that their cities and towns, they are not concentrated in one place. They are very scattered. 
like here you you might have impression that there is nothing here but it's quite a big city actually it's just scattered between these mountains we were driving long distance through the city Yes. You have to be here. Uh -huh. 420. 420 tomorrow. Yes, Shukran Jazeelan. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Nice. We have found the place. So that's our bus. And that's the place tomorrow. I have to be here. 